Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Fox 44 News at 530. I'm Adam Hooper. And I'm MG Montemayor. After two months of trial uh, to find Cedric Marks guilty in the capital murder of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen, the jury has sentenced Marks to death. The jury made this decision unanimously after hearing closing arguments from Marks himself and the prosec prosecution. After sitting in for the verdict, Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us live outside the Bell County Justice Center with the latest. Earl. Adam M.G., it felt like a weight was lifted for the families of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen, finally getting justice as Cedric Marks was sentenced to death for capital murder. Both of the families were in tears because they waited four years for this verdict. When it came down, some of the family and friends even hugged Marks' family outside the courtroom. In closing arguments, Bell County First District Attorney Stephanie Newell told the jury Marks was capable of violence, and once he makes his mind, he doesn't stop. Marks responded saying he will not stop defending himself because he didn't kill Mike and Jenna. Marks still stood on what he said yesterday for the jury to give him the death penalty, and he was born ready for what comes. Bell County District Attorney Henry Garza spoke last saying Marks is trying to manipulate the jury, saying this, and the jury made this unanimous decision in two and a half hours. We are the voice of victims. We brought that voice to the court in so many different ways. But really what we were waiting for was the thunder that was given today. Within a short period of time, this jury reaching the decision that they did. Hearing this verdict, Marx does have the ability to make an appeal. And at the end, Marx put in a motion for a new trial. At six, we'll go into what Michael Swearingen's family and Jenna Scott's family have to say. Live in Belton, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.